Well, this cold isn't just dangerous for people, but of course also for animals on the farm. Continuing our team coverage now, we go to Margo Spann in the Rock County Bureau. Margo, what are the farmers doing to prepare there? Well, Eric and Michelle, the farmers tell me that we all knew it was coming, but they actually began preparing for winter after the fall harvest. These over here are about five months old. When cold weather is approaching, farmer Doug Rebout says his animals can sense it. Somehow they know and their fur does and their coat does get thicker. The second generation farmer says his family cares for about 700 head of cattle. He says preparing that many animals for the winter begins well before the first snowfall. We make the bedding in the fall. After we're done harvesting our crops, we go out, we get the stalks out of the field and put them into big bales. They don't heat their barn, but he estimates it's about 20 degrees warmer than the temperature outside. They pull the shades on the side of the barn to help block out the wind. Young calves like these, born on Christmas Day, will be wrapped in blankets. The smaller animals we keep inside to protect them more. The bigger animals, they go outside to eat and drink, but they always have a building to go into. With the price of each animal ranging from a few hundred to more than a thousand dollars, their business could be seriously impacted if the animals aren't kept warm. Rebout says they do everything they can to keep their animals safe from the bitter cold, including extra bedding. We're, we're always making sure that they're bedded nice, whether it's really cold or, you know, whether it's 50 degrees out, you want, you want them to have good bedding and kept dry. Now, Rebound tells me that the animals eat more in the wintertime, and that actually helps them to have that extra food because they can convert it to energy, and it helps to keep them warm. We can all relate to that, mm. can't we? <laughs> Eating a little bit more in the winter. Thanks, Margo.